Have you ever wanted to be able to just say, clip that, and it makes a clip on your Twitch stream? A voice command that just creates the clip without having to rely on your mods, friends, or like your mum to make the clip for you. Do people's mums make clips for them? I don't know. Well, in this video, I'm going to show you exactly how you can use a voice command, clip that to create a clip on your Twitch stream. This uses traditional tone 739's recent Reddit post and a little applet. So in this video, we'll run through exactly how you can set it up. We'll do some testing on it and I'll show you all the details around it. I'll also try and answer some of the technical questions as well as I'm going along. So if you like this, if you find it interesting feel free to hit the like button subscribe to the channel let's go quick word from own.tv who are sponsoring this video and are my partners own.tv have got a load of amazing overlays that you can use on your stream and they've even got themed overlays now and these are fairly newly released best part here is you'll be supporting the channel by using code machine at checkout that will also get you 50 percent off your order i got the omega skin back in season one and there's overlays to match this and a number of other different fortnite things like the raven we've even got league of legends overlay csgo overlay World of Warcraft overlays and Valorant overlays that you can add to your stream. So I first became aware of this on the r forward slash twitch reddit which by the way if you're not following the r forward slash twitch subreddit it's kind of funny there's some really grim stuff on there you do sometimes get some useful insights well worth following if you do use reddit if you don't use reddit what are you doing with your life traditional underscore tone underscore 739 and I will link this post below posted this video all about how you can say clip that and it will just take a clip of the last 30 seconds on your twitch stream basically listening for you to say that word before it triggers that process. Right, so important to note here, if you go on a stream deck, there actually is something that can do something very similar if you do have a stream deck. And there are also things like Touch Portal and various other things that can achieve a similar thing to this. For example, if you integrate the Twitch buttons here, you can use Create Clip button here. You drag it on and essentially what this will do, once you've connected your account, when you press that button, it will create a clip for you. There are different ways of doing the same thing here. Personally, I like the idea of being able to just do it brainlessly just by speaking into the microphone. I think that's a neat little tool. You can then, of course, edit that clip. You can extend it. You can reduce the size of it. You can add a title and then publish it as you would with a normal clip. Now, I have done loads of different videos all about stream decks in general, so make sure you subscribe to the channel, but in particular, how you can integrate those Twitch buttons. So if you prefer to press a button to clip something automatically rather than a verbal command, then just check out the video, which I'll post above. The website for clip that is this here, so it's say clip that.com feel free to visit that i'll drop it in the description below and first what we need to do to access this is connect it to our twitch account now if you're already logged in on your twitch account on another like tab somewhere it will automatically know that you are otherwise you'll have to log into your twitch and it will prompt you to do so from here if you're already logged in like i am it'll just say do you want to authorize this app which i'm going to click yes to now, when I initially did this, I just had to refresh the page after I'd authorized and then this loaded up here and it shows that I've not created any clips yet through Clip That and it's basically waiting for our first clip. There are some things we're going to investigate here, but we've also got a little profile information. It's pulled in my logo and my username here. It tells me how many clips I've got. There are some settings. So you can start Clip That by pressing the start button, which is this button here. Make sure mic source is correct. Click on the microphone icon in the browser. So here's the first little bit Bit of troubleshooting that we have to go through just to make sure that the microphone on the browser is correct so i'm going to click the three dots in the top right hand corner here of chrome i'm going to go into settings we want privacy and security and when we click onto site settings here on chrome you'll see microphone sites can ask to use your microphone when we click into this there are a number of sites that you should see here that have already authorized to use your microphone the thing we're looking for here is this microphone here you just want to make sure that the default microphone in this section here is the microphone that you you are using in my case i'm using the tc helicon go xlr chat mic as the source but you will obviously have a different default microphone you need to make sure that this is correct here another quick point here if you've got don't allow sites to use your microphone checked then this may not work you need to make sure that sites can ask to use your microphone now at this point all we need to do is click start on this browser and then it will activate the little applet it seems you are not live on twitch if you are wait about 30 seconds and thanks to you so at this point to test 
this, we're actually going to have to go live on Twitch, press the start button, and then we actually have to say clip that now that we've got all the settings in place. Now, at this point, I'll just point out as well that you do probably need to be able to ensure that clip settings here within your stream settings in your dashboard are actually enabled so that you can actually even make clips on your channel. There may be some people that are watching this that do not have clips enabled on their channel. This may not make a difference, but I suspect it will make a difference inherently to the settings here. Finally, just to check that clip that's actually properly authorized on your Twitch channel, click on your profile icon here and go into settings. This will drop you into this page here. We then want to go into connections on the tabs here and we can scroll down and what you should see is official clip that has been connected. In my case, it was connected seven minutes ago. You can choose to disconnect it here as well, just in case you don't like this app and you want to actually remove the authorization from your Twitch account. Within the settings tab here, you can change the sensitivity of the microphone. This is to do with clipping and under over clipping and stuff like that. You can adjust it there. So now all that's left to do is to go live on Twitch and click start on this button here to start the app. And then also from there, we need to say clip that and then we'll see exactly what happens when we test this. So now that I'm actually live on Twitch and I've clicked on start, we can see it changes to stop here, indicating that this is now working. And now we've got a message from Chrome. I'm using Chrome. You may be using Firefox or hopefully you're not using like Microsoft Edge, but if you are, rest in peace. It says app.sayclipthat.com wants to use your microphone. We do need to allow this app to use the microphone. We can't hear you please check. We get an indication from that to listening. So this now indicates that this is listening to us from this browser. So this app will now wait for us to say clip that. Seems to be doing something. I turned the sensitivity up from 40% to 70%. Click save and it seems to be picking up my microphone a little bit better now. And it's pulled in the title of the stream. It's pulled in some of the uh, attributes of the stream, the tags that have been used. And it looks like it's automatically created that 30 second clip. Clip that. Clip that. All right, so it does work, but we just need to make sure that you're enunciating your language really, really well for this app. I'm wondering if there's also a slight delay as well that you can't make two clips in really short succession. It seems to be that you may maybe need to wait 10 or 20 seconds before the next one will allow. Clip that. Yeah, you do need to speak super clearly into the microphone. Clip that. Now at this point, we can see all of the different clips. We can scroll through them. We can also sort by date or all clips. Finally, just to show then, once you've made the clips, you can click on them, just literally clicking on the icon themselves. And then you can just adjust the clip. Let's just pause this. You can adjust the clip, the size of it, obviously just using the normal Twitch settings using the creator here. So if you wanted to shorten the clip and give it a title, clip that. Then we can simply click publish and it will publish it as a normal clip. Now, the interesting thing about this is is that I'm actually offline now when I'm showing you this little bit here. So I can still edit all of these clips here, even though I'm offline. So it's like I'm creating those clips using the original timestamp of the clip, but without the titles, they're sat there in draft, and then I'm able to go in and edit them later. So if you're playing through a playthrough of a game or something funny happens or whatever, instead of having to make the timestamps or flick through your own stream, let's say if you're wanting to make different content from your own stream, or even an editor having to do that. It will sit here in drafts as long as you say clip that and then it will work. So that was clip that function by Traditional Tone 739. Traditional, thanks for making a cool tool. I enjoyed it. It's a lot easier and it's an alternative to some of the other ways of doing the same thing like Touch Portal or even as I showed in the video on the Stream Deck. If you enjoyed this, hit the like button. Feel free to subscribe to the channel and cheerio.